بالرغم من أنها لا تحبذ فكرة تسميتها وتذكيرها المستمر بكونها المديرة الإبداعية الوحيدة الأنثى في دار ديور وأتت بعد المصمم البلجيكي راف سيمنز لا بد من أن نشهد لها أنها كانت السبب في إعطاء صوتا لمن لا صوت لها في قطاع صناعة الأزياء حاربت ووضعت المرأة وحقوقها ضمن أولوياتها وحفزتها من خلال تصاميم تعاونت فيها مع أبرز الشخصيات النسائية الفنية أمثال ديانا فريلاند، ليندا نوشلين، ونيكي دو سانت فال وغيرهن خطوة جريئة من ديور ومخاطرة كانت نتيجتها النجاح التجاري المبهر حتى في مرحلة الجائحة ماريا جراديا كيوري ليست بضيفة جديدة علينا تابعنا جميع عروضها في كل موسم منذ تعيينها في العام 2016 إنها ماريا جرادزيا التي تجمعني بها صداقة جميلة نظرا لهذه اللقاءات المستمرة تقول إن الموضة تساعد النساء على التحرر والاستقلالية المديرة الإبداعية للدار ماريا جرازيا كيوري بجلسة حوار مع المصورة بريجيد لاكوم وتمكنت من الحديث معها عن إمكانية تبني الحرف العربية من قبل دار ديور. Since you spoke a lot about craftsmanship, what's your take on craftsmanship in the Arab world, and how would you today use your position to kind of support um, Arab artisans? We honestly, uh, for now, we didn't work in uh, this area with artisans in this area. Uh, we worked in the past uh, in uh, uh, many different countries. Normally, our work is uh, uh, with the cruise collection. So we did in Greece, uh, we did in Italy, we did in. Uh, um, Morocco and uh, also sorry because I don't for, I forgot to, uh, where we went but uh, mm, it, it because is this kind of a project for us uh, is possible to do one for a year is not possible more because our pro, uh, pro, uh, project that normally we start uh, in October and we have the show in April May because are very long. We had to go in the country, we had to visit or the artisan or the supply with the team. So the process is super long. Um, more than one for year is not possible. Uh, but I hope in the future, why not? Uh, but it's necessary all the time that we start in time uh, and we made all the process, also selection, because uh, we are also to remember that we have to understand when we select a supply, if uh, or artisan or craftsmanship, if uh, she can, or them can create something like a limited edition, or they can do all uh, the production. Is not a work that I do alone. Is a work also that I do with the product manager of Dior. So it's very complex. The good thing is that Dior support me to make both all 
I can work also with the small or the big artisan. Is no, uh, we are able to work with both. وانتقلنا بعدها إلى فندق الماندرين أورينتال في الدوحة لإجراء هذا اللقاء. Good afternoon, my. I'm so happy to see you Me again. Too. Me too. Twice in almost one month. That's such We a are... big pleasure for me. Also, thank you to invite me. I'm very happy to see you again. It must be very exciting to get all the feedback from the opening of the exhibition yesterday. I saw that you were very happy. Absolutely. With the energy. Tell oh. us a little bit about the feedback of the opening yesterday. We are super happy yeah. that after this pandemic crisis, Yeah. Uh, we can open this beautiful exhibition because uh, uh, it's an important moment yeah. for us uh, to show in uh, Doha yeah. uh, the history of yeah. uh, Mr. Dior, but uh, not only of him, all uh, the mm. creative director mm. that uh, worked in yeah. Dior House. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, it's another way to see our job, mm. uh, to see creativity and to see fashion. In the museum, uh, you see fashion completely different uh, yes, yes. from the fashion show. Yes. You can see the, the craft machine more close, mm. uh, you can spend more time, you can see more details. Mm. So it's very different yeah. experience. Um, it's quite a milestone to have an exhibition like this that traveled the world uh, to finally arrive to the Middle East. Tell us about the process of curating uh, the museum and why did you decide to pay tribute to the region in that, in that I, sense? I, I really appreciate the concept of, the, of uh, our exhibition because all the time is in dialogue with the local country yes. that uh, hosts our, our exhibition yeah. and is a way also to be in dialogue uh, because that was the DNA of Dior. Mm -hmm. We found this beautiful map in our archive that speak like a Dior immediately became a global brand and it went around the world mm -hmm. with his model, his collection to be in contact with the women around the world and also to change the style of his creativity with the necessity mm -hmm. of the women mm -hmm. uh, around the world. In this way, also in this collection, in this exhibition, uh, with the, 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 the exhibition we want to show like um, our relationship is uh, close with the women around the world, but not only Mr. Dior, but also the designer that went after yes. him. Yes. Uh, I, if you, like you say, I really happy and uh, that uh, um, uh, Sheikh Amosa give yes. us uh, a selection mm. of her beautiful wardrobe, haute yeah. couture. Beautiful yeah. pieces. And I have three pieces that I yeah. did for her. Yeah. I'm honored on that yeah. this. And you see like uh, the her style, she maintained her style in the time, so but true. at the same time, like uh, this style uh, uh, is different in mm. the different occasion, mm. because that's mean to work in fashion, to help uh, women to in the different occasion to dress yeah. them themselves and to be yeah. confident with their body, with yeah. their um, idea, yes. uh, is the priority for us. I mean, what's also very interesting is the fact that the museum paid tributes to all the designers that left a mark uh, on the brand and ultimately Dior had a very big influence on modern history and you today are in a position to celebrate the work of other creative designers as well. Um, if you look at the timeline uh, of the exhibition of the, of the creative directors from Yves Saint Laurent all the way to Mr. Raph Simmons and then ending with you, what kind of responsibility <laughs> do you feel? I'm not gonna ask you like everybody asks you as a woman, as the first no. woman designer, no, but I mean, uh, it's an incredible moment. Yes, yeah. I think um, it's something that I never imagined in my life uh, to find my work in a museum uh, with uh, so great mm -hmm. uh, 
creative director, no? speaking only about uh, Mr. Dior, but mm. also Saint Laurent, yeah. also Ferré, Marc Boan. Uh, that you were inspired by the yeah, last collection? I, 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 all the time I want to also to promote uh, John Galliano, of course, mm. uh, the, the, uh, them, because, uh, for example, my point of view, uh, Marc Boan did a great job in uh, Dior house, but at the time uh, uh, fashion was not so well known like today, and so probably is uh, less well known. Mm -hmm. So I'm speaking all the time about Boan because uh, I think that he was uh, really revolutionary mm -hmm. in the history of Dior. He made Miss Dior, mm -hmm. he made Baby Dior, mm -hmm. he introduced sport mm -hmm. in Dior. Mm -hmm. So we are speaking about another visionary uh, creative director. The interesting thing, I think, is also that uh, like uh, all uh, the different designers um, transform the yeah. code of the house yeah. in their personal vision. Yeah. Uh, so you can see in the, in the room of the garden, that is one important element so of the story, films. the personal yeah. story yeah. of uh, Mr. Dior. To, 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 to realize uh, clothes and art uh, work uh, different mm -hmm. with this important mm -hmm. reference. Uh, I think uh, that's made uh, the brand uh, more strong, more faceted and mm -hmm. very interesting. And it showed different facets of uh, Mr. Dior as well, not only as a designer, as an art collector. Absolutely. And this is something that people uh, yes. did not know or are not aware of. Absolutely, mm. because uh, he started his career like uh, a gallerist before yeah. to be a couturier. And so his uh, relationship with art was yeah. uh, super strong. Yeah. We are not to forget that at this time, Paris uh, was uh, the city where all the artists around the world uh, want move uh, to be there. Yeah. So he was in contact with Dalí, Giacometti. He, he was all the time in conversation at the initial of the exhibition, I don't know that, have you seen, but there are this picture of the, of the, yes, with I him did. and all these artists yeah. around the table in yeah. the cafe yeah. to speaking about art. It was super inspired from art. Mm. And I think this is uh, also is present in all the designer that uh, was uh, after him. So, and I found in the exhibition beautiful also the work of the curator mm -hmm. that come from the art decorative that work with the element of a heart that was in dialogue with the work of the designer mm -hmm. is very interesting too. What's interesting also is innovation when it comes to textiles and this is this is something I was closely looking at yesterday because we were in such a close contact and that's amazing yes. and an amazing factor uh, in exhibitions like that. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, textile style is really something that is part of uh, the first uh, work that humanity did. So uh, there in the exhibition you can see some craftsmanship that are very specific, uh, French specific yeah. uh, technique like uh, chine uh, yeah. and I'm so happy that uh, we have uh, also supply that mm. now work with us and we can mm. do it because um, this kind of technique are really rare mm -hmm. so um, we have to preserve this kind and the couture is a way also mm. to maintain mm. uh, this kind of craftsmanship that speak about uh, our identity our mm. history uh, Dior was really interested in beautiful jacquard, velvet, embroidery. Mm. There are many mm. different techniques. Uh, it's yeah. uh, really inspiring, yeah. I think, also for the young generation. Totally, the exhibition. totally. We spoke with Mr. Pietro about the importance of having these exhibitions and the importance of, uh, of continuing uh, the know-how and this is a mission uh, for Dior and I know how craftsmanship is important to you and I asked you this question in the talk yesterday because I could have easily imagined uh, a show in different parts of the Arab world where 
uh, craftsmanship is part of our DNA and you, to you always celebrate those women in the atelier. Maybe we were in an industry where women always work mm -hmm. behind the scenes in a, ma in a male dominated yeah. uh, <laughs> industry, but you gave them a voice. Yes, uh, for, I, for, I, I want to show for them. The first time. <laughs> I want to show them because uh, I think that in our industry there are all, a lot of women inside mm. our industry. Um, it's very difficult for them, to, but also in other careers, to arrive to the top level. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, in any case, um, yeah. their work uh, are so important yes. and uh, we have to celebrate yeah. in an artistic way. Yeah. Because I think this kind of work is artistic. Mm -hmm. is, um, we are not to forget that sometimes there is this idea of uh, fashion that is uh, more about uh, industrial or artisan. Mm -hmm. uh, we are to see that this kind of work mm -hmm. is uh, really artistic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.